This video is all about knitting with anspan yarn with a focus on Nuteden yarn. I've only started knitting with anspan yarn recently and want to share my experience as well as some practical tips and tricks with you. Hi, I'm Annika. I'm a natural yarn dyer and an avid knitter and I love to create something every day. Let's talk about how to knit with unspun yarn today. Let's get started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's cover the most obvious question first. What is unspun yarn? Unspun yarn is also called pencil roving and is a type of yarn that has not been spun whatsoever. So the wool gets carded and then dyed from the raw wool later on, but not spun afterwards. Spinning basically means adding twist to a yarn. So you take a strand of wool and you twist it, so you spin it, and then you have a twisted single strand of yarn. You can either knit with it or ply it together with other strands in order to create a two ply or three ply or however many plies you want to add. And like I said, unspun yarn simply has not been spun. This results in a very airy and light kind of yarn, but it also means since there is no twist to it, that it can break a lot easier than a spun yarn. Since it is more fragile than a spun yarn, unspun yarn usually gets sold in cakes that look like this. I'm now going to show you how easily one strand of unspun yarn can come apart so that you can see how fragile it is. Let's see if I can find the start. So that's the yarn. Hope you can see that now. And it you can pull it and it comes apart like nothing. So it's really really delicate and it has to be handled with care when knitting with it. One of the advantages of unspun yarn is the fact that it is so versatile. You can either use a single strand or hold two or even three strands of unspun yarn together and this means you can use it to knit pretty much any knitting pattern with it. On the website of Honor Org Air, which is the company that produces the popular Nuteden yarn, they state that you can use everything from a needle size of 1.75 millimeters, which would be a US double zero up to a, let me check, 15 millimeter needle, which would be a US 19. Personally, I have to say that I'm very intrigued by the various possibilities that unspun yarn has to offer. Like I said, I've only started knitting with unspun yarn recently and so far I've tried out unspun yarn from two different companies, which I'm going to talk about now. The first unspun yarn that I've tried is called Pleutolopi and it is from the company Istex. It is an Icelandic yarn and comes in a range of beautiful colors. Personally, I think Plotolopi is a good quality yarn with a very affordable price point. Here in Germany, I can purchase a 100 gram plate of Plotolopi for around 7 euro 50 plus shipping, which would be about 8 US dollars. The Knitting project I made with the Plotolopi yarn is called a Saturday Shrug and it is a pattern by Jackie Rose. It's actually a free pattern and I'm going to link it for you in the description box down below. I used two colors, the gray and the natural color and knit this up in with a needle size 4.5 and 5. So this would equate to a US 7 and US 8. I started with the larger needle size down below and in the end, not sure if you can see that it tapers in just a little bit. I um, used the smaller needle size in order to bring the shrug in a little bit towards the part that sits around my neck. I think it's a very beautiful and versatile pattern but it is an all-over ripped design, so if you do not like 
curling then this is probably not the pattern for you. I held the Pletolopi yarn double in order to create the shrug so I have two plates of each colorway. Of course it takes a little bit of adjustment when knitting with Anspan yarn for the very first time but because it is just a different knitting experience you have to be a lot more careful with it but since I held the yarn double I felt that it was rather straightforward to knit the shrug. I'm going to do a quick outfit change now to show you how the shrug looks. All right it takes me a time to get it to sit right uh, to be totally honest with you and I mainly wear it when I go outside. There are some beautiful ways to style it. You can even pull it up very low over your shoulders which looks very pretty but uh, that's the way I usually wear it. The second piece out of Anspan yarn that I've made is the cardigan I'm wearing today. It is the timepiece cardigan and the designer of the knitting pattern is called Ibiona McLaughlin. I'm going to link everything for you in the description box below. To create this cardigan I used knitted in yarn from Honor Oc Air in the colorway Liv's Linie. Liv's Linie was part of the January collection of this year. If I compare the Nutiden yarn with the Plotolope yarn, I have to say that the Nutiden yarn is a lot softer. Plotolope is for sure more of a rustic yarn, which I personally do not mind. Nutiden yarn also comes in a range of beautiful colorways. Most of them are heathered and they look very natural, which I really like. The selling concept, however, is completely different compared to most yarn companies. You cannot just go on the website and order, order the colorway you want. Uh, rather, they come out with collection every one to two months and you have to decide beforehand what kind of yarn interests you the most or what colorway and be very quick in order to snatch it up. Otherwise you could miss out and it could be sold out already. This happened to me last fall when I first became interested in knitting with knitted in yarn. I had my eyes on a specific colorway and I missed out because I was not fast enough. And of course this was very disappointing. One option to make sure that you get the colorway you want is to become a patron of Nutiden over on Patreon. This way you get early access to the new release and are able to shop the yarns in a more relaxed way. And since I missed out on the specific colorway I wanted in the fall, I decided to become a patron in January and participate participated in the January update and got this colorway lives linear and they just came out with the March collection and I decided to purchase some more knitted in yarn and I got this colorway a very beautiful deep pink I have five plates in total see if the camera is going to pick up the beautiful shades of reds and pinks that are in this cake. I'm very excited to be knitting with this yarn very soon. Let's also talk about the price point of knitted in yarn in order to be able to com compare it with the Plutolopi. You can purchase a 100 gram plate of knitted in for 160 Swedish crowns which equates to around 14 euros or about 15 US dollars plus shipping. So it is a lot pricier than the Plotolopi. I purchased 300 grams of the Liv's Linie colorway and my original plan was to make a dress with it and I originally also intended to hold the yarn single in order to get a dress out of 300 grams of yarn but this did not work out at all. I wasn't able to get an even tension when I held the yarn single. It was breaking all the time. It looked, my gauge swatch looked 
totally wonky and it became to me it became clear to me very quickly that this was not going to work out so I held the yarn double instead and decided to make this cardigan but unfortunately although I decided to make a cardigan instead I still played a severe game of yarn chicken and almost ran out of yarn I had to make the sleeves a lot shorter I originally wanted full length sleeves like it is written in the pattern and I also had to make the body a bit more cropped than I usually intended to because there simply wasn't enough yarn but now I've ordered 500 grams of yarn I have five plates in total the colorway is called Apostrophe and like I said it is from the March collection of this year and I really hope that this will be enough to make a beautiful dress. I haven't decided on the pattern yet, so if you have any dress knitting pattern suggestions, please let me know by leaving a comment. I'm looking for a simple dress, but with some kind of a special twist, like a special stitch pattern or something like that. And I hope it will get me, the 500 grams will give me about knee length. And one more thing that I've ordered from the Nutiden update in March was this. This is called a mixed bag, I think, and it is basically a surprise bag of 200 grams of Nutiden yarn. I know I have to practice a bit more knitting with Nutiden yarn in order to make a full dress with, a, with an even gauge. So that's why I ordered this yarn and I forced myself and been very patient not to open this bag before filming the video today because I want to open it with you now. So let's do it. All right, almost there. And you can get a sneak peek already. Let's have a look. Oh wow, there are quite a number of different colors in it. I'm very excited. I usually do never order surprise bags because I tend to not like surprises and I'm very particular about my color scheme and like to pick out exactly the colorway I want but I thought in this case I'm just going to consider it more as a practice project. I'm thinking about maybe knitting a pair of socks out of these yarns. Let's see. Wow, look at that cake. It's two different colorways in this cake. It's very beautiful and heathered. There's this deep purple on the outside and inside. I'm not sure how you could even call this. It is orange and a bit of pink. It's very beautiful. I'm very much looking forward to cast on a project with this. Then we have a very bright, fresh green. It looks very springy to me. I personally would not wear this color around somewhere next to my face because I think for my color type it's a lot brighter than what I normally go for. But as a pair of spring socks I think it will be very pretty. Next up is a beautiful brown orange. <laughs> Not sure. Maybe you see something totally different in this plate. I think it's a very pretty neutral, although I usually do not go for browns. I usually tend to focus more on grays, but like I said, for a fun sock project, it will be just right. These are also two different colorways in the plate. A very delicate soft pink, which I really, really like on the outside. Can you see that? And on the inside, a light neutral that is not so neutral at all if you have a closer look. 
I almost feel like there is some slight shade of, of the light green in it in a much lighter version. It's very interesting to me. Very beautiful as well. And one more. Also very, very fascinating and interesting. I really like the color depth of Nuted and Yarn. It reminds me a lot about dyeing with natural dyes because you usually don't just have one flat color. There is always a bit of different hues and like just a color depth in it that this one is also very hard to describe. I see shades of the green in it as well and maybe also a purple undertone. Very very interesting. I love this surprise package. Let's put them up together so you can get one more look. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Here they are. Very pretty. I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to show you what I decide to make with it for sure. Like I said, I thought about making socks with it. If you have been following me for some time, you might know that I am a huge proponent of non-superwash all natural sock yarn with no synthetic components whatsoever. And I actually offer several sock yarn bases in my Etsy shop that I dye with natural dyes that are also completely made out of wool or one is a blend between wool and linen, so completely natural materials. And I think it is totally possible to knit long-lasting sturdy socks without any synthetic content. I've actually written a guide that you can download for free that where I share all of my best tips if you knit with all natural sock yarns to make your socks in a way that they last as long as possible. And this is why I'm very interested in trying out Nutidin yarn for a pair of socks. If you see this fragile unspun yarn in a plate, you would never guess that this could make a sturdy pair of socks. But I've seen several people talk about it and I'm very keen on trying it out myself. But Nutidin yarn and Pleutolope yarn aren't the only unspun yarns available right now. Another popular yarn is called Manchilopis and it is from the Spanish brand Wool Dreamers. Manchilopis comes in a beautiful range of heathered shades. I've had a look at their website and a 100 gram plate of yarn comes for around 8 euro 50 plus shipping which would equate to 9 US dollars. I've checked and you can order directly from their website but unfortunately they only ship within the EU. However, I've had a look and there are several yarn shops worldwide that also um, offer manchelopis and that you could order your yarn from if you want to give knitting with manchelopis a try. Another place you can check for an unspun yarn is Etsy. I'm going to link it for you in the description box, but I discovered that there are several different yarn brands that offer their yarns on Etsy, their unspun yarns, that is. Lastly, I want to share five practical tips with you that you can use when knitting with unspun yarn. Tip number one, knit from outside of the cake. Let me see if I can show you an example. And if I find the beginning, yes. So since the yarn is so fragile, if you would pull it from inside of the cake, it would break very easily. So you just knit from the outside of the cake in order not to get too much tension on the fragile yarn. The second tip I've already started showing you here is to unwind a little bit of the yarn before you knit with it. So you leave a, a longer strand and knit this one. And if you come to the end, you, you cannot just pull from the yarn because it will come apart. And then you just unwind a bit more and knit with it. 
Tip number three, I've already mentioned as well, knitting with two strands of yarn held double is a lot easier than knitting with a single strand. It will break a lot less and the gauge will also be more even. So if you are a beginner at knitting with unspun yarn like myself, I recommend that you knit holding the yarn double. Tip number four goes in a similar direction. If you opt for a larger needle size, it will also be easier to create a, an even gauge and to cause less breakage in the yarn. And my last tip, if the yarn does break, I'm going to show you here, you can simply overlap the ends, see if you can see that, and twist them together a little bit so that the, they intertwine and then you can continue knitting. That's very easy. That's it for today. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you like knitting with unspun yarn as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye guys!